The Appalachian Advantage plan is the simpler, better way to get the phone you actually want. Instead of paying hundreds of dollars up front, simply pay the taxes up front and a few extra dollars on your monthly bill and get the phone you really want. It's called the Appalachian Advantage and is available at Appalachian Wireless. The case of a deadly DUI-involved crash in Letcher County that killed two Pike County women is finally closed. In Letcher Circuit Court this week, 39-year-old Travis Hilbert of Wise County, Virginia, was sentenced to 16 years in prison in relation to the deaths of 61-year-old Barbara Newsom of Pikeville and 90-year-old Kathleen Tackett of Belcher. The two women were killed in a crash near Jenkins in May of 2018 when Hilbert lost control of his vehicle and crossed into the path of the vehicle in which the two were passengers. Newsom died while en route to the hospital and Tackett died several days later. Hilbert had been charged with first degree assault, two counts of manslaughter, and other charges including DUI. As part of the plea agreement, Hilbert entered an Alford plea in January to amended charges of reckless homicide in relation to the two women's deaths and a charge of second degree assault for injuries suffered by another occupant in the vehicle, as well as a DUI charge. During his sentencing on Wednesday, he was sentenced to five years in prison on each of the reckless homicide charges, five years on the second degree assault charge, one year on a criminal mischief charge, and one week on a DUI charge for a total sentence of 16 years in prison. Letcher Commonwealth's attorney Edison Banks says the family of Newsom and Tackett were in agreement with the plea deal. Every time you see anything to cover orange, a pumpkin, a carrot, a construction cone, even the jumpsuit you wear, anytime you see anything whatsoever that is orange, I hope you think about the life your choice took for Barbara Newsom and that orange was my mother's favorite color. Banks says it would have been difficult to convict Helbert on the first degree assault charge due to the factors of the case. He also says no matter the outcome of the case, there are no winners in this situation. Well, now that it's over, I'm hoping that the, the victims will be able to have some closure and certainly the driver of the automobile because she has to deal with it every day of her life. There's never going to be a good outcome when there's a fatality of any type involved. And in vehicular homicides, you start out, it's a loser any way you look at it. The family that had their loved one killed don't get over it. The person that caused the fatality in their family doesn't get over it. So the best you can try to do is to get a little closure for everybody so they can start moving on with their life. There's nobody that can say you ever are a winner when you have a tragedy like this. And when you have multiple deaths, that makes it much worse than just a single death. We got 16 years at 20%. So to me, that was a fair trade-off to not put the family through a trial the surviving victim, no one knows the amount of grief that she was carrying the weight of all of that on her. And I can't see any good that would have come of forcing her to get on the stand and relive yet once more something that she probably thinks about every spare moment of the day. Helbert will be eligible for parole after serving a little more than three years in prison. He's been lodged in the Letcher County Jail since the crash in May of 2018 and remains lodged in the Letcher County Jail.